If you hear a little tapping noise in the background, it's my husband chopping ice on the porch. I hope it's not too distracting. We're going to talk about the shelf life of fats and oils. On the low end of the spectrum is vegetable oil. And I bought this vegetable oil. It had about an 18-month expiration date on it. So a year to two years, approximately check your expiration date. It may go longer than that. And my mom used to keep it in the fridge to lengthen the shelf life. I'm not sure if that's advisable or not. Next up, let's look at this. Let me look at the expiration date on this butter I just got. If I can find it. Next up, let's see right now. I'll look at that in a while. Next up is butter and margarine. If you want to keep these for long term storage, doo -doo, doo -doo. I'm going to keep these for long term storage. The freezer is the best place. I have kept them successfully for a long period of time, probably in excess of a year on a regular basis. I used to have 50 or 60 of these in the refrigerator until we all learned about trans fats. And then I started keeping, excuse, I, excuse me, I used to have 50 or 60 of these in the freezer for long-term storage until we learned about trans fats. And then I started keeping butter in the freezer. And I am confident that it will last at least 9, 12 months or longer in the freezer. And the next fat, I don't have right to sh here to show you, but uh, shortening in a can, it's, I think it's usually made from soybean oil. There's trans fats in that too, but the shelf life can be in, ex in excess of 10 years. I did a little uh, tongue tied today. I did a little research on the internet and found out that the shelf life can be in excess of 10 years especially if it has preservatives in it. So you can check the label for that. The next category, I'm going to show this can backwards since it has banana chips in it. In a number 10 can, you can purchase butter powder made with real butter. You can purchase shortening powder and you can purchase margarine powder. It's my uh, guess. I'm guessing that the shortening powder and the margarine powder have trans fats and the butter powder would not. I have not checked my labels to verify that, but that would be my educated guess. Fats are an essential part of our diet. We need the, I think it's linoleic acid that's in it. And of course, children need fats. Young children especially need enough fat for brain development. Fat is not all a bad thing. Uh, we currently use real butter in baking when I make cookies, but I'm holding on to my shortening and food storage because I may need it over the long term. If you can only store so much butter in your freezer, uh, you can store butter powder. And butter powder stored in a number 10 can with an oxygen absorber in it will have a shelf life of probably in excess of 15, 20, 25 years, depending on the conditions that it's kept in. That's a little over three minutes, and that's all I have to say about fats for food storage. If I think of anything else, I'll put it in another video. Bye.